Hi, my lovely people. We have a $15 community post and in video combo going on. I know a lot of people are here rebranding, putting out new content. This is a great way to get people over to your channels and get some exposure on the hard work that you're doing. Also, we have a $25 channel review. If you're wondering what's going on in your analytics, why maybe you're just staggering a little bit, some things you want to know to bring your channel up, go over some new ideas, then hit your girl up and get you a channel review. I will work one-on-one -on -one with you to help you move that channel to where you want it to be. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. Bed, bed, don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It's for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It's my opinion and my opinion only. Bed, bed, ooh -wee. I had to make this video because I don't know if y'all been seeing the way that uh, Jasmine and Nika have been moving real shady towards each other. Now, let me tell you something about Nika. We already know that uh, her and Jasmine, right, are both two of the bottom barrel people that are out here on YouTube. Excuse me for being messy and just having to say it, but we have to say it. But... Jasmine came out here and she was out here boo-hooing. She was crying. She was talking about her breakup. She was talking about her heartache, talking about being broke, talking about a whole bunch of something and was saying a whole bunch of nothing, right? We knew what Jasmine was doing. She needed those views. She needed those cash apps. She was brokeity broke. Well, we know that Nika does that all the time, right? And this is not the first time that we've seen Nika try and do a reaction or a shout out to one of the mommies. She's done it to Peach before. She's done it to Liv before. Before, but she makes a whole video talking about her reaction to my jazzy life, which the video was a hot mess. In the beginning, she goes on to say, oh, I know about heartbreak. I know about being a struggling single mother. I'm just wishing you the best. You know, she just says that little crap. And then she goes on to we go seeing her drive through the clouds, wheels shaking, taking out trash, maggots and everything else. You know, the same old Nika content that Nika typically has. But it's what happens after this, right? It takes a whole, I would say maybe four or five days, right? Jasmine goes live again, and Jasmine's on there talking and boo-hooing about Chris again. And I don't know if you guys caught it, but then she says, you know, uh, there's a lot of people throwing shade, which Jasmine really meant she wanted to talk about Medusa and the baby mamas and the reactors. But as Jasmine said, I'm not going to go that low. I'm not going to get views off their name like they get off mine. But let me say... Thank you to Nika's life. Yeah, not even the name of her channel for making a, a video. And I think that's her name. And I think that's her channel. And I think she made a video. It was all about I think. I think, I think. How do you think? If you've seen the video, then you should know the name of the person's channel. If you really like what she said about you, you should have gave her a proper shout out and a proper thank you. But no, Jasmine knew what she was doing because as soon as she said it, baby, the people in the comments was like, ugh, Nika, she's gross. She's trashy. Oh, so Jasmine's reading the comments and Jasmine says, I know y'all, but I'm just not here to knock. I, I, and then someone says, why would you even want to be entangled with Nika? Because Nika is so nasty. And she says, I know, but I'm not going to knock anyone. She just made a video for me. So you agree with what everybody said about Nika. It was, I know, I know, but I'm just, you know, I just wanted to bring it up. I, you know, like you totally threw shade at her and you totally let everybody know that you think that she trashy. Once you tell somebody, you know, that means you agree with them. But then, all right. Nika, she makes a video and she's talking about struggling and this and that and how she be shouting people out. You know, she's always ranting in her videos, which I knew she was talking about Jasmine. But to make a long story short, Jasmine must have caught the shade because Jasmine then goes and shares Nika's video out in her community post, which once again, if you didn't know the name of the channel, you know, I think this is the name. I think this is the video. How did you go back and find it then? Somebody in the comments was talking about Nika and that made you go over and click on her channel and actually watch more of her videos and you shared her out because you didn't want no drama and no smoke. You knew you had put your big old foot in your big old mouth, nose and everywhere else when you agreed with the comments that this girl was nasty and trash. At this point, Jasmine is trying to cover up what she had did and her shady things because Jasmine wants an ally. She doesn't care if it's Nika. She doesn't care if she has to go back to live. She probably would try and go back to Chrissy. Every time that she gets herself into a predicament, let's say it that way, she looks for an ally. She looks for someone who's going to kiss her behind. She looks for someone that she could call a friend because she's a lonely bird. Bebe, when I tell you these two, they are birds of a feather, so maybe they should flock together. Bebe, I'm going to see y'all in the comments.